Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first guest of the night. He is a man who loves to fish wearing his speedo, enjoys his boat couch, and never gets tired of posting. Please welcome Captain Speedo. Oh boy, that's funny. How are you doing, Mr. Letterman? Quite fine, thank you. It's great to have you on the show today and I am excited to talk about our upcoming fishing season. Well, I had to miss a crabbing trip for this show, but I hope it's worth it in the end. I sure hope so too. So, Captain Speedo, what would you like to discuss first in our show? If it's not too big of a deal, I would like to know what is going on with our salmon season. We need one this year so I can fish in my Speedo. Two years of no fishing was horrible and I cannot imagine myself not being able to fish this year in my Speedo again. Well that is just awful Mr. Speedo as I am told you truly enjoy those Speedos. Yes I do. Well Captain I heard that the river counts have improved this year and it is looking like we may get a season. You may be in luck after all. That sounds terrific, but I am not sure if Julie Packard will allow it. That lady just wants everyone to stop fishing and she has started to annoy the hell out of me, that old hag. Excuse me but Julie is my cousin's daughter. Oh my god I am so sorry Mr. Letterman, I did not mean that at all. Wow this is awkward, let's talk about crabbing now. Captain Speedo, if you had to give one piece of advice to fellow fishermen out there today in regards to crabbing what would it be? Electrodyne all the way baby. Can you explain what this is? Yeah, it's the greatest thing ever invented and once you get one you'll always be wearing a Speedo like me all the time. Mr. Speedo, how would you compare the Electrodyne to other products in the market today? Haha, <laughs> it is like comparing a golf cart to a 1969 Camaro. No comparison. Well, I guess it can get boring waiting for the pot to come up. Especially when you have hot lips on board. Exactly right. That guy is something else. On to our next topic which is focused on having a couch on the ocean. I hear you have one. Wow is this really appropriate right now? Why certainly Mr. Speedo. You are the one who never stops talking about it so please, tell America what is so good about having a couch. Wow this will be hard. The couch is a place where one can pass out after long days of fishing crabbing or anything else which would require the need to rest. What would be considered anything else? Oh I would not like to discuss this on public television. Crap. Have it your way Mr. Speedo. And now America our final topic of the night with Captain Speedo addresses the name itself and how this magnificent captain acquired this name. Mr. Letterman are you serious? I really do not want to discuss this. Why is there something America should not know? I heard from someone that something occurred at a dinner event in California. Is this true? Holy smokes this is embarrassing. How about we talk about our future tuna season? Mr. Speedo do not try to get out of this. Look I love Speedos and that is the end of discussion. Ladies and gentlemen you have heard it from the man himself. I give you Mr. Speedo and want to thank you all for watching our program tonight. I have one last final question for the captain. Okay, what is it this time? Will you be wearing your Speedo on opening day salmon season if we end up getting a season? Mr. Letterman, are you kidding me? Of course I will and I will even do a special dance if we end up with a season. Bloody hell, what a guy, folks. Thank you for coming in Captain Speedo and I wish you the best in your salmon season and your love for Speedos. Oh boy I better just leave now. The exit is on the left and don't forget to take your Speedos with you on the way out. I would never forget my Speedos. And now America our next guest of the night, Mr. Jensen also known as Flanagan who flew out from Redwood City, California to join us.